Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Meteor hacked client for Minecraft 1.21.8. So we're going to go to the Meteor website, which I'll provide a link to if I can in the description. If not, just type in MeteorClient.com. Go ahead and click the 1.21.8 download, and you'll get given this little add focus link. You're just going to wait 5 seconds until at the top it says skip. If you're using a browser that doesn't have this uh, thing and you've got ad blockers installed, you won't see this, but otherwise you're just going to click this little red skip button. And that is going to download the client. It should be very fast. If it's taking forever, you've probably got the wrong link. Go ahead and cross this off. And now we're going to go to the Fabric Installer, where we're going to go ahead and click Download for Windows. It's just fabricmc.net forward slash use forward slash installer forward slash, uh, in case they won't let me put the link in the description. Next we're going to go ahead and click on this little Downloads link button, and we're going to click on the folder next to the Fabric Installer, and that should open all of our downloads. Now the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and double click this Fabric Installer, which should give us a pop-up window that says which version, or prompts us which version of Fabric we want to run. And it should be this little scroll here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit install. Currently it's 1.21.8 is the latest version, so that's what it's set to. And it should be pretty fast, and then it'll be over and done with. <laughs> Next we're going to click the Windows key and the R button at the same time. We're going to type percentage, app, data, and then percentage symbol. Hit enter, and it's going to open the .minecraft location. I'm going to open this up. We should find a mods folder. If there is no mods folder, just go ahead and right click and go new folder and then name it mods, which is just M O D S. Next, we're going to go and open that. We're going to drag the worst, oh sorry, not the worst, the Meteor client right in there. <laughs> and that's it. That's all we have to do. Go ahead and cross this off. We no longer need any of these things open. And when we cross the launcher off and then reboot it, it should have a new installation in the version 1.21.8. If for some reason you can't get it started or whatever, it can be just because the launcher is running or there's a widgets or the Defender smart screen or something and your task manager is just, you know, messing around with you saying you can't do that, but you just go ahead and cross it off and then it should boot up again just like normal. Uh, it can be one of the little problems that comes along with all this Microsoftification of uh, everything uh, Minecraft related. Anyway, now we should have a new version. Now we can see here it says Fabric Loader 1.21.7. Now, now that's obviously not what we want. So if it doesn't show up straight away, go into Installations and create new installation. I'm just going to call it Meteor so that we know what it is. And we always switch it to the grass because the grass is the prettiest one there. And we're going to go in here and we're going to just type Meteor. Oh dear, it's not showing up. One second. Uh, it appears that when I did it that time, it just didn't run the um, fabric installer the whole way for some reason. Uh, sometimes it won't work because the launcher is open when you do it, or for some reason it just doesn't want to. It doesn't want to go in. So if we go ahead and cross this off, we should go back here. Oh no, still not there. New installation, and we should look for. No, nope, still not showing up. That's really weird. Okay, if it doesn't do that, just go ahead and cross the launcher off and then restart it again. That should solve the problem. Sometimes when you run the fabric installer, it just doesn't like to recognize that it's been run. But when we boot up now, it should have uh, everything done. If it doesn't work for some reason, just run it again. Oh man, this is weird. I've never really had this issue before. Ah, oh, okay, that's what it is. Okay, so the launcher must be fully shut, and also you're going to want to go into the... Um, the task manager, if it's still not working for some reason and someone's using the smart screen in order to mess with you, go ahead and cross all of this off. <laughs> Get rid of this com surrogates. Hit OK and then hit install while the launcher is fully closed and off. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and boot it <laughs> for the third time. This is the first time I've had this much trouble launching a Meteor client. Alrighty, now once we've done that, we can just go ahead and hit play, and hit play again, and this should boot up Minecraft with the Meteor client, finally, after th that much time. I must be getting tired from all the cheese I've been eating lately. It must have been slowing my little brain down, so I couldn't, couldn't figure out what's going on right there. Should be a pretty quick boot. Now, I don't know exactly what it is lately, but the 1.21.8 version of Minecraft and 1.21.7 and even 1.21.6 have had a little bit of trouble booting, even in vanilla, on my PC lately. I don't know if this is just a me problem or if anyone else is having this sort of an issue, um, but 
it just doesn't seem to launch properly. I don't know. It could be, you know, one of the hackers that's been messing with my computer lately, but I'm pretty sure it, it's just a maybe an issue with the game itself. Uh, but eventually it should load. If it doesn't, just go to an older version, and that, that'll normally fix it. Anyway, that's pretty much the tutorial. Oh, one last thing. When when this client does finish loading, the uh, key to open the hacks menu is the right shift button, and to get out of it, it's just the escape button. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. You can figure everything else out sort of on your own. All right, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.